Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services issued new visitation guidance for nursing homes Wednesday, which was welcome news for so many families. So how are places in Western New York responding? Here's two on your sides, Kelly Dudzik. That new guidance is just for nursing homes and it does allow indoor visits, but assisted living facilities are using state guidance issued March 2nd. I last talked with Mark Ferrari from Briarwood Manor, an assisted living facility in Lockport, exactly two months ago when he was frustrated because his 100 or so residents and 80 staff members hadn't been able to get the vaccine yet. Today, he says 98 percent of his residents and just under 50 percent of his staff are vaccinated. He's still waiting to find out how that will impact visitations. Unfortunately, we haven't been given any additional guidance uh, with vaccines and people being vaccinated. Hopefully that would um, open up things a little bit more uh, for family interactions. Briarwood Manor is following the March 2nd state guidance for adult care facilities, and that means visits are allowed even in private rooms while socially distant, unless a resident or staff member tests positive for COVID-19. If that happens, visitation is suspended for 14 days. Briarwood Manor allows visits Monday through Friday, one visitor at the facility at a time, although the state says they can have up to 20, which for Briarwood Manor would create potential staffing issues since the state also requires a staff member to monitor each visit. Mark is hoping for new guidance soon. Because we got to get back to normal and our residents uh, need, a, need a hug from their families. Separately, we also wanted to know why 93% of the residents in adult care facilities in the five county western New York region are vaccinated, while in skilled nursing facilities that number is only 77%. For the answer, we went to the New York State Department of Health, which is providing that data. While our request was acknowledged, we did not get an answer before our deadline this afternoon. For a link to the state's guidance on adult care facilities and visitations, just go to WGRZ.com. In downtown Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.